young mother murdered in her home this morning. And tonight, her live-in boyfriend, 27-year-old Christopher Scarborough, is in the Cobb County Jail, charged with her murder. Police this is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Marietta, Georgia is a city northwest of Atlanta. Known as a suburb, it offers residents with a perfect mix between urban life and suburban life. Marietta has been said to be one of the very best places in Georgia. With its many restaurants and parks and a decent school system, it was the perfect place for a young single mother to raise her family. 24-year-old Zianna Graham was absolutely gorgeous. She had a smile and eyes that could light up an entire room. Her laugh was infectious, and if you ever had the opportunity to be in her presence, you would see her zest for life was absolutely unmatched. Originally from Vallejo, California, she moved to Marietta, Georgia as a teen after getting involved in drugs and the wrong crowd. Once in Georgia, she started to get her life on track. But like many young girls, she loved and craved attention from the opposite sex. And by the time she was 16, she was pregnant with her very first child. She did marry her child's father, and the two welcomed a second baby shortly after. But the family life and marriage didn't last long. Going into a marriage so young and having children in the mix so soon was stressful. And the pressure was way too much for the couple to bear, so they split. Zianna quickly moved on with her life, and within a year of the split from her husband, she had met someone new and became pregnant with her third child. Now her and this guy, they were never really in a committed relationship, so they stopped seeing each other almost immediately after that third child was born. And although Zianna was heartbroken, she once again picked up the pieces and moved on quickly. She was truly looking for love in all the wrong places, but she still had a yearning for love. So she quickly fell into another situationship and became pregnant with her fourth child. Unfortunately, history repeated itself. And by the time Zianna was 24, she found herself single again, but this time with four children to care for. After that fourth child, Zianna had enough. She finally decided to put relationships and love to the side and just focus on being a mother. She had four mouths to feed. So she picked up a part-time job working for a local contractor. She was painting the interior of homes and apartments. She was finally on the right path. She was living in her single girl era and she was loving it. But just when she was getting used to being alone, she fell hard and fast for her boss, the local contractor, 27-year-old Christopher Scarborough. Now, although Zianna wasn't necessarily looking for a relationship, Christopher had everything she ever wanted in a man. He seemed to be family oriented. He had his own business. He was a hard worker. He had goals and plans. And in the beginning, he was perfect in her eyes. But as time went on, he started to show his true colors, his controlling nature. There were numerous domestic abuse calls to the home. But on August 23rd of 2018, the relationship reached a boiling point. The day started off as normal until Christopher received a Facebook message notifying him that Zianna had terminated a pregnancy. Now that's just crazy. Even if you did know that information, why would you send it to someone in a Facebook message? Somebody was just being messy. In any case, Christopher had knew that Zianna was pregnant by him at one point, but she told him that she suffered a miscarriage. He had no idea that in reality, Zianna had no intentions of keeping that child and she terminated the pregnancy intentionally. She already had four children with three different men. Having another child was the very last thing on her mind. When Christopher confronted Zianna about the information that he had learned, she told the truth. She confessed. She told him, look, I don't want any more kids. I already have four kids. I already have three different baby fathers that I'm dealing with. Children are just not in my plans right now. So the two begin to argue and the argument just escalated and escalated until Christopher put his hands around Zianna's neck and strangled her until she stopped breathing. He applied so much pressure that the medical examiner determined Zianna suffered a cervical fracture of her spine. 
I mean, he literally just lost it. So according to police records, after Chris killed Zianna, he fled the home and he made a call to 911 requesting a welfare check at her address. Once police found Zianna deceased and interviewed her oldest child, they learned the truth about the events of that evening. Zianna's oldest son reportedly told police that Christopher does bad things to his mother and now he killed her. Police immediately arrested Christopher and charged him with murder. It's truly a heartbreaking story for the family as well as for those in the community. Neighbors and relatives reportedly saw the couple in heated argument and it was loved ones who called police after growing concern for this mother's well-being. When police got to the home, she was already dead. Marietta police say they were called to this home on Bonnie Dale Drive for a welfare check early Thursday morning. When we entered the house, tragically, we did find a woman who had been strangled as a result of an ongoing domestic dispute. Detectives say 24-year-old Zianna Graham was strangled to death by her live-in boyfriend, 27-year-old Christopher Jean Scarborough. Police say at least one of her four children was home at the time when she was murdered. The kids always were playing outside. Neighbor Keith Detweiler is used to seeing Graham's four children jumping on this trampoline. I would say anybody that loses a mother or a grandmother or a family member, I'd say it's pretty bad. I'd say it's tragic at that point. Scarborough has a history of violent behavior. According to these 2018 court documents, in one case, the warrant states he struck a man in the face causing injuries. On another occasion, police were called after Scarborough allegedly headbutted another woman. Our hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved in this tragedy. Marietta police are taking it a step further, pleading with anyone who witnesses signs of abuse. If you're the one watching this, if you know someone who may be in a situation that they shouldn't be, that it could be an abusive relationship, please, the life you could be saving could be theirs. Reach out to your local law enforcement. Ask us to just go check and make sure that everyone's okay. Certainly, we're not trying to pry on anyone's relationship, but we want to prevent a tragedy like this from happening. On May 7th of 2021, Christopher Scarborough pleads guilty to murder and is sentenced to life in prison, as he should be. What an absolutely devastating case. Zianna didn't deserve this. She definitely didn't deserve to lose her life in that way. My heart goes out to her loved ones, especially her children. Police say all four of them were present at the time of the murder. You can only imagine the lifelong scar that has been left on those babies. Absolutely devastating. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, please leave. Use the quickest, safest way possible and do not turn back. Turning back can cost you your life. As always, loves, stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and the notification bell for future content.